Hey guys, this is gonna be a review of the Lin Young, the Diane Lin, Lin Young. Um, I got this cube last week, and I got it from SpeedCubeShop.com. <coughs> it comes pre-lubed in with uh, Lubix, professionally lubed by uh, the owner and creator of Lubix Cube. Um, that's why it has this sticker on it. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, I guess, and it comes as a um, assembled but unstickered. You got to put the stickers on yourself, which it really isn't that hard. You can see these are put on actually pretty good. Um, gotten pretty good at putting on stickers. Some of them tend to get a little bit crooked or not all the way on uh, in the exact middle, but it's hard to tell the difference anyway. Um, the things I like about this cube is it flows very nicely. Um, it's unlike the Gu Hong that has a very crispy type feel, I would say to it. Um, which is, I like my uh, Gu Hong a lot more now that I lubed it with Lubix. Um, it's a lot better. But it has like, you can hear it compared to you can actually feel it uh, going across the tracks rather than just gliding um, some people don't like it and some people do it's all uh, personal opinion personal preference so um, anyway let's, let's uh, talk about the inside the center caps first so, well, the starters, it's a little bit smaller, um, not all that much, but a little tiny bit smaller all the way around, um, not bad though. The center caps, this is a Gu Hong, let's see, come on, camera focus, there we go, looks like that has that tab. Here is the um, Lin Young, smaller, uh, sits up more on the cube, a bit different, it doesn't fit all the way down, it has sits up a little bit, uh, hopefully you can see that. So yeah, um, my, yeah it's my yellow one, got glued on to my Gu Hong from CRC, I think I when I washed it out to do to put Lubix in it, um, I can't get the yellow center cap off. So yeah, don't use CRC if you have a choice. Use Lubix; it's much better. It's non-toxic and it's good for your cube, and it won't come off either. Um, let's see, let's look at the pieces. They have this, they don't have the same core. Um, but this one's a white core, where this one is a clearish core. I, I don't want to take it up though. So, the pieces are the same concept. They're, um, they're both uh, two pieces put together. Um, hmm, I grabbed the same piece. Cool. Um, the difference is this... Is completely flat. Has two ridges there. And again, it's completely flat. Um, and then it has this ridge right, right there at the bottom, right there. Um, whereas this, if you can see that, it has a little bump right going across the top. These are more rounded, um, and even has a bump, a uh, little cave in right there. This is all meant to uh, stop the popping. Um, that's the major difference. Let's see about a corner. <coughs> see. So um, these corners are very flat all the way around. It has these. 
uh, ridges. Uh, I don't know what to call them. Right the on um, right here. Um, this is interesting. Let's see if I can do this. Um, they literally like go all the way in. I can, uh, hopefully you can see that good. Um, I think it's just like absolutely ridiculous. The stock itself is all carved out, very smooth, very all meant to reduce pops. Um, I like the way it feels, um, and I like those uh, tracks on the Lin Young. It helps. It just it feels better to me. Um, again, personal preference. Um, it feels a lot faster than the Gu Hong. Um, the only problem is everybody's been talking about it is it's popping and it cuts corners 45 fine if you go over sometimes it'll cut the opposite way which I thought was pretty cool when I opened it uh, but and then reverse corner cutting so yeah I mean not like you really need the stuff but there if you try uh, to um, corner cut on purpose, you will pop it. It will just explode on you. Like if, see that? Two of them came out that time. Um, so that, that's the only problem. If you're trying to corner cut. But I've done three, four, maybe five averages of 12... I already haven't had much time to mess with it, but um, and it hasn't popped during a solve. It popped when I was just doing this uh, sexy moves, um, and it's popped a couple of times uh, uh, doing that. But other than that, it hasn't popped during a solve. So I guess if you rely on doing 45 degree corner cuts, you're screwed, or just don't get the cube. That would make the most sense to me. Um, Gu Hong, it, it, it doesn't cut corners as well. I have mine set a little bit tighter, otherwise your Gu Hong will pop if it's um, uh, too loose. Uh, so I've had to tighten mine. This is factory tensions or wh whatever tensions it's on from uh, Speed Cube Shop. But um, I really like the cube. I like the color difference in the um, stickers very recognizable um, I actually don't mind the white on the white because um, I can see it and other than that there's not much else to say with this cube other than go and get it um, I got a 27 point something average with it um, my best average ever I did an average of 12 with all of my cubes. I did it with um, these three here. This is a Lin Young, Gu Hong, Gu Hong Colored, High End Memory, Cube for You, Tile Cube, and a White F2. I didn't do it with my Gray F2 because I was being lazy. But out of 72 solves, I got a 31.1 something average, which is actually pretty good. I usually average around 35. Um, the only one that I got sub-30 with was the Lin Young, and I, I got like a 26 point something um, average of 5, so it, it's reduced my time, definitely. It's my new speed cube, new main speed cube. Um, I love it. It's one of the best cubes I think out there right now. Um, I don't know what else can top this. Uh, and... See, just messing with it, it'll pop. Other than that, it's fine. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed my review. And comment, rate, subscribe. And um, if you have anything else that you want me to review, uh, please send me a comment. And I will see you guys next video. Thank you.